Welcome back. Downtown design firm Avrico specializes in hip new eateries. Two architects and two designers create a sexy modern feel, integrating every detail from furniture and lighting to graphics to the bars of soap in the restrooms. Public is our baby. We own, operate, and, uh, and did everything nuts and bolts. And, and this is a perfect example of how we've been able to uh, really surround a project. It's a very global, eclectic menu. We oftentimes look, look to the past for other models that we can put a spin on. For public, uh, we really look back at WPA era and when uh, public goods and services, something you can really trust and believe in. We started to explore things such as public libraries, uh, public postal system. Where we did take brass post office boxes, which we actually turned into a private wine uh, program where you can actually rent a P.O. box and, and every month you get new hard to find wines and tasting those from the chefs. The menus, they've got uh, a very government kind of design vernacular. We're very fortunate that it was a success both in the culinary world and in the design world that um, many people started to search us out for other similar type of projects. It's all about lighting and music, which is a bit of a gross exaggeration, but uh, I think it's about a sense of warmth and welcoming. Context is very important to us. When we designed the Stanton Social, we really started to research the Lower East Side, uh, a lot of the sort of garment work, um, haberdasheries, etc. that were there and we wanted to pay an homage to its roots. We scoured around, we bought 40 vintage men's suit jackets and tore them apart and really you know, began to understand the constructions. We started to implement some of those details into banquette design uh, in a subtle way. We referenced herringbone wine pattern for the back wine wall. Quality Meats was certainly a steakhouse and nothing but a steakhouse. It seemed very apropos to research other butcher shops and sort of the craft of making steak. Butcher block, end grain for wall surfaces, a lot of classic marble details for bar tops. We even referenced ice and meat tongs. We built public in, in three months. It was just like unheard of. I think that one of the great things we did learn is to really trust ourselves based on gut feel. It certainly comes down to real estate. We'll try to design moving walls, moving doors that can close off certain areas, um, not only for, to accommodate larger parties, but also slower nights. So you can cordon off an area and, and make it feel more intimate and cozy. We do have a book coming out on our design process. It's called Best Ugly. While we were traveling through China and we were being escorted uh, through this beautiful manicured garden and there was this one completely gnarled, nasty, weird looking thing, but it was really beguiling, you know? And uh, we asked our guide what this, this piece was doing in the middle of this garden and his best term to describe it was called Best Ugly. It's the, it's the best of the worst, you know? A couple little weird, awkward pieces. Because of that, they have even more character. And so these fire doors behind us are a perfect example. You know, we had to have them. It was a function of the fire code. So, you know, it's not all gloss and mirrors and polish. Avrico's concept book, Best Ugly, will be out in October. Thanks for joining us here at Steinway Hall. Next time, conductor and Bard College president, Leon Botstein. I'm Carol Masser. See you next weekend on Muse.